YouTube, what's up? King the Barber here, back with another video. So today's video is gonna be on all the tools that you're gonna need to become a barber, whether you're cutting in the garage or you're just getting ready to start barbering school. So what I've done was I brought out my old barbering suitcase here and we're gonna go through all the tools that you're gonna need. So before we get into all that, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. Also give the video a thumbs up if you like the content and follow me on my Instagram page at Kimi Lifestyle. So without further ado, let's get to that intro. All right guys, so we are back. Now, the tools that I do wanna show you guys are gonna be a little bit more practical, meaning a little bit more affordable. I believe when you're a beginner and you're just starting off as a barber, you're not gonna be able to afford $200 to $300 machines, so we have to be a little bit more realistic on what you should buy. Now, all the clipper machines that I'm gonna show you are gonna be corded, not cordless. So the first things I wanna start off with is gonna be the basic things that you're gonna to need to become a barber. So let me grab my trusty suitcase here. Reason why is because corded clippers are gonna be cheaper, they're gonna be more stable, and they're gonna last you a lot longer. Now the first thing out of the barber case is gonna be a cape. You wanna be able to drip your clients with the cape because you don't wanna get hair on them. And to go along with the cape, you wanna have some neck strips and also a neck strip holder. Basically, these neck strips go inside this holder that way you're able to pull as you go throughout the day. Once you have dripped the client with the cape, you wanna put the next strip on. Well, you probably wanna do that first, and then you want to, if I can get it, snap on the cape. So next is gonna be the barber side. Now, basically the way this works is you fill this up with mostly water, and then you pour a little bit of this inside. And what this does is gonna keep your, your combs, your brushes, and other tools that you want clean. And the way you, it works is, you wanna rinse it off first, so if you have some dirty combs that you just use on a client, you throw it under the sink, you rinse them off, clean them off a little bit with some of the hairs, and then you dump them in. And I also recommend that you don't leave them, your combs and brushes overnight inside here because it will eat your stuff up. Now, there's gonna be three type of combs that you're gonna need as a barber. First comb is gonna be the taper comb. Now the taper comb is basically for when you're tapering around the ears and also the neck. And I also like to use this comb for when I'm brushing off the hairs instead of using a brush. I know a lot of barbers use brushes as a fade, but for me it's a lot uh, sanitary and more cleaner when you use a taper comb. Now the next comb is gonna be the all-purpose comb, which is this comb right here. Now this all-purpose comb is a little bit longer. Reason why is because I do have clients with really long hair and it's a lot easier to control with the longer comb. But this is this all-purpose. You can do shear of a comb, clipper of a comb, pretty much everything. This is gonna be your main comb that you're gonna need. And the last comb that you're gonna need is gonna be the clipper comb. This comb is basically for clipper over comb work. You could use the all-purpose comb, but for me, I prefer to use the actual clipper comb. Uh, this clipper comb really works well. Um, you wanna hold it this way. All three combs are made from Johnny B. I just really like Johnny B combs. For whatever reason, I'm just comfortable with using the Johnny B combs. So next up is gonna be the brushes. First brush I wanna show you is gonna be for the wavers. So if you have clients with waves, you want a good brush like this. Uh, make sure the bristles are soft. You don't want something that's really hard. Now the next brush is gonna be for my clients who wanna do more of the comb over look or more of a slick back look or maybe even a pompadour type of look. This is the kind of brush you're gonna wanna have. And this is actually a Johnny B brush as well. And the last brush is gonna be for my clients who have more short, thinner hair and you're trying to give it more volume, make it look more fuller, you wanna have a smaller brush like this. So the next thing that you wanna have as a barber are shears. Now, shears are very important as a barber. These are a six inch shear, but I do like to use like a six and a half to seven inch shear. I know guys who like to use an eight inch shear and that's more for um, shaping afros and uh, flat tops and stuff like that. But reason why as a barber you want a little bit longer shear, something that's in the six inch to six and a half inch is that you're gonna get more ground when you're doing shear over comb. So 
it's better to have a little bit longer shears starting off. I remember in barber school, I was using like a five and a half shear, and I used to just poke the heck out of my fingers a lot. I used to cut my fingers a lot because they were so small. They're really good for doing point cutting. I'm using a five and a half shear, but as a barber and starting off, you want to you want to start off with maybe something like a six to a six and a half. So next up is going to be the thinning shears. Now the thinning shears is really good for removing weight. Now if you have a client, if you're blending the hair and you see some weight lines and you want to blend those out, you want to use the thinning shears. And also you want to use these when the client has really thick hair on top and you want to thin out the hair so they're able to put product in and give a little bit more control. These are the shears that's gonna do the job for you. They're gonna be a lot more forgiving than using regular shears. So the next thing that you're gonna need is a mirror. Now you wanna be able to show your clients that great work that you just did, right? You need a mirror. You can get a mirror from five bucks. I think this one was like $10. They're fairly cheap and you need one. Next up is gonna be a blow dryer. Now the blow dryer, they can get very expensive. You don't need to go out and spend a lot of money for a blow dryer. You just need something that's really basic that blows hot air and cool air. The next thing you're gonna need is a water bottle. Now the water bottle is mainly for when you need to wet your client's hair for when you're doing shear work. Next up is gonna be the Parker razor blade holder. This is a more of a butterfly latch here. And I love using this razor blade holder because it's really it's not like really light but it, it's not heavy at all and it's perfect for me and i've been using this since barber school 20 bucks on amazon or something like that so it's very affordable and i still use it to this day and also to go along with that is the persona uh, razor blades now these persona single edge blades are really good to use as well they're very smooth and as long as you're using some nice gel to go along with it and you also need gel which is made from elegance this stuff right here is really good and you're going to get a really smooth and good shave when you're doing maybe the lineup or you're lining up a beard and doing a mustache shaving the neck or just shaving it all off you want to go with this stuff starting off now before i get to the clippers you're going to need some cool care now this cool care is going to clean your clippers keep it lubricated also disinfect your clippers as well and this is the best brand out there to use is the cool care from Andis. so next up is going to be a detachable clipper which is the model 10 made from oster now it's detachable because you can detach the metal blade which is a different uh, guard sizes from the clipper it comes with a triple zero blade and also a one blade I recommend you buying a 0A blade, a 1A blade, and also the 2 blade. Just when you're starting off, I think it's important for you to start learning how to use a detachable clipper. Now you're going to need a fading clipper. Now the fading clipper that I chose is going to be the Wall Senior. I think the Wall Senior is really great starting off as a beginner. The reason why I chose this over the Masters is because I was kind of going back and forth. The thing about Masters is that it's a really great tool and it has like the notches for the lever here which is really good for beginners. But the issue is that it heats up really quickly and if you're a beginner, you're probably not gonna be as fast during your phase. So you want something that's gonna keep cooler a little bit longer. So that's why I chose the Wall Seniors. So now you're gonna need a trimmer for beginners. I chose the T Outliner. Now the T Outliner is a great trimmer for beginners. Uh, this T Outliner, I chopped off the top. The reason why I did that is because just like the Andes Masters, these things get really hot really quick and by chopping off the top it allows the motor inside to stay cooler now you don't necessarily need to do that and you don't need to zero gap I know you're gonna hear people talk about zero gap in their uh, trimmers as a beginner you don't want to do that because you don't want to start nicking your clients right away you want to be able to be heavy-handed and be a little bit more forgiving especially when you're first starting off Next up is gonna be the shaver. Now this is an Andes foil shaver. I think as a beginner barber and you're learning how to do razor ball fades, you wanna have a shaver. Cause you might not be that comfortable with just using a razor blade. So using this will save you from cutting up your clients. And you can also shave the neckline and also shave under the neck and shave the face as well with this thing. So it's a really good tool to have for beginners and also pro barbers as well. And with the wall seniors, they come with guards already. So you don't have to go buy any guards because they already have them. 
And they also come with clipper oil as well. So you wanna make sure when you start off the day, you wanna oil your clippers after every cut. So that's gonna be all the tools and equipment that you're gonna to need to start off as a new beginner barber. Whether you're cutting hair in a garage or you're just starting school or thinking about starting school, that's the equipment that you're gonna need. Now again, you don't need to go out and spend a lot of money on expensive machines. Just starting off with the basic machines is really good and really all you need. I still use the basic machines. I know a lot of barbers still use the basic machines. Having the, all the cordless clippers and that's, that's cool and everything, but do you really need it? No, not as a beginner. Just start off with the basics, nail that first, and then learn as you grow. And then once you start making a little bit of money, maybe you're doing some home cuts or you're getting some tip money from school because you're on the floor cutting hair, you can start buying some more better equipment, believe me. Please help the page grow by liking and subscribing to the channel and follow me on my Instagram page at King Me Lifestyles. And until then, I'll see you guys in the next video.